everyone welcome you to this video in today's video we are going to see the plot in seaborn which can be used to find the relationship between quantitative variables so when i say quantitative it's continuous variables right so when we say the relationship between continuous variables we have so many plots which can tell you that right so we have scatter plot we have box plot we have line plot so many other plots which can tell you the relationship between two continuous variable right so in this video we are going to see one function that can be used for uh, uh, two continuous variables so the function that we are going to see here is rel plot so this particular function in seaborn helps you to find the relationship between two continuous variable so this actually stands for relational plot so let me show you some example let me take a data set and try to take uh, features from it to plot using this rel plot so first let me import the packages that we require so i'm importing seaborn and i'm going to import matplotlib And let me import pandas. So I'm going to take a data set here. So these are the packages that I require. So let me take a data set. So here I'm going to take car price prediction data set. So here we have car price prediction data set. So from this data set, let's take two continuous features and let's try to plot a, rel a relational plot using rel plot function. So if you see, these are the features we have in our data set. So let's take two continuous variable from this. And let me see SNS dot rail plot and let me take two continuous features. So let's take this engine size as X. So here we have price. So let's take this price as Y. So these are the two continuous features that I'm taking. Let us give the data frame. So first, let me call this function for these two variables. And let's see what kind of plot we get. Here we go. So as you can see, when I call this rel plot function, by default, the plot that I get is scatter plot, right? So as I told, rel plot can give you scatter plot or line plot. So if I wanted to change this to a line plot, I can use a parameter called kite and I can change it to line. So this will change from scatter plot to line plot. So as you can see, here we have taken engine size and price. And as the engine size increases, you can see that the price increases as well, right? So this kind of relationship you can find from these two features. So if I don't use this kind parameter, by default, it will give you the scatter plot, which again gives you the relationship between engine size and price. So here also you can see that when the engine size increases, the price increases, right? So basically this rel plot you can use to find the relationship between two continuous variable and either you can have it as a scatter plot or you can have line plot, right? So one more thing I wanted to tell you about this rel plot is, so basically rel plot is built on top of facet grid. 
Okay, so you can create small, small multiples using this rel plot. Let me show you how to do that. So let us take same features. So there is a property called call. So in this parameter, I'm going to take one feature, let's say car body. So basically this is a categorical data, right? So when I use this feature in call property or call parameter, let's see what does it give. So you can see that we have five different categories in car body, okay? We have convertible, we have hatchback, sedan, wagon, and hard top. So these are the categories that we have in this feature, right? And for each category, you can see small facet, okay? Which tells the engine size and the price, okay? So you can see for each category, it tells you the relationship between engine size and the price. But in this case, here we have five categories. Let's say if you have more number of categories for any feature that you take. So how can you visualize it clearly? So there is another parameter called call wrap. So you can use this telling that how many uh, plots that you want in single row. So let's say if I give three, then I'm going to have three plots in single row. So this gives you a clear plot, right? So you can see that for each category, I can see the relationship between engine size and price. So rel plot is more flexible and it's very, uh, you know, powerful function that you can use when you wanted to have two continuous variables. So if you do bivariate analysis between continuous variable, you can use this rel plot. Thank you.